Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Story of Sam, and welcome back to a brand new NBA 2K22 current gen build video. And today, I'm going to be going over how to create the Playmaking Paint Beast build in 2K22. If you guys are brand new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. We are on the road to 3,000 subscribers. And of course, guys, make sure to drop a like. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. So, first of all, the build is going to be a power forward. Hand and jersey number do not matter. Let's get on to the actual pie chart. Now for this pie chart, we're going to be a more like traditional power forward build. We're not going to be a great shooting build, but we are going to be very good at finishing in defense. So scroll down here, try to find the majority finishing secondary defense, and you're going to find it right down here, right here. Majority finishing secondary defense, majority blue secondary red. As you can see, we already get a lot of great base stats. We get 92 standing dunk, 91 driving dunk. So make sure to pick this pie chart right here. Next up, we have our physical profile. Now for this, we're going to be a very fast build. So we want to pick the first physical profile profile right here the majority speed and acceleration so pick the top one just like that next up we are setting our potentials what you want to do is for finishing max out close shot max out driving layup max out driving dunk and max out standing dunk and then for our post hook we want to put this up to a 51 so they get our 26 finishing badge for shooting we're going to skip this entirely this build cannot shoot for playmaking max out pass accuracy ball handling and post control so we get 14 playmaking badges and now for defense max out interior perimeter defense lateral skip steal for now max out block offensive rebound defensive rebound and with our last seven attribute upgrades put those on steel so we get 24 defensive badges next up we have the body shape now of course guys this does not matter at all literally just pick whatever you want i'm going to go solid and now for the height we want to make this build six foot seven as you can see our speed goes up to an 85 our acceleration goes up to an 83 and we get a bunch of perimeter defense and lateral quickness going to six foot seven is going to make this build very similar to like the play glass build a very fast build that can play make finish and defend so definitely put the height at six foot seven and now for the weight we are still a power four build so maximizing the weight is going to be the best thing to do here we get plus eight to interior defense i think that's a really really important stat right there so 275 pounds is a good spot to have it at Next up for the wingspan, our build cannot shoot at all, so might as well put our wingspan at max. 89 inches, we get a bunch of finishing and defense back, so max out the wingspan. And now for the takeover options, we have either slashing takeover, rim protecting takeover, or glass cleaning takeover. Now since we do have like 26 finishing badges and Hall of Fame finishing badges, I think the best option right here is to pick slashing takeover. And as you can see, we have created the playmaking paint piece build, shades of Draymond Green, Scotty Barnes, and Pascal Siakam. Now this build is very, very versatile of course because the only thing it cannot do is shoot everything else it is very very good at so i definitely recommend making this build if you want to be like a small ball big up next we have our badges which we want to put on is hall of fame back down punisher hall of fame fearless finisher i also think that putting on hall of fame drop stepper could be very effective for us also i think hall of fame slithery finisher is a great badge hall of fame posterizer hall of fame limitless takeoff these are all really good badges and with our last two badge upgrades left i'm gonna put that on silver fast twitch right there now for our one shooting badge obviously see this build cannot shoot we can't really do anything with shooting at all so might as well put it on slippery off ball it might help a tiny bit and now for our 14 playmaking badges go with gold unpluckable gold downhill gold bullet passer those badges are all must-haves also of course gold quick first step an amazing badge and we have two more badge upgrades left i'm gonna go with silver bailout right there bailout is an amazing badge and having this on silver is a really good thing and now on to our 24 defensive badges now unfortunately we only get gold defensive badges but we can still make the best of it so I'm going to put on Gold Interceptor, Gold Box, Gold Chase on Artist, Gold Brick Wall, Gold Intimidator, um, Gold Rebound Chaser, Gold Rim Protector, and we can put on one more Gold Badge. I'm going to put on Gold Clamps right there because we are 6'7 and this build can switch onto Guards, so it's a very versatile Defender build. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video on the best Playmaking Paint Beast build in 2K22 current gen. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. We are on the road to 3,000 subscribers, and of course guys, make sure to drop a like on today's video video that would be great and if you guys do want to watch more of my 2k22 videos i'm gonna leave an end screen right when this video finishes to two of my previous uploads that i think you guys would really really enjoy so have a great rest of your day guys it's been story of sam and i'm out peace that was my